here we go. We're at it again. We're hiking in for three days. Uh, stayed at the vehicle overnight, and uh, we, we got going half an hour before daylight this morning. Just hit the first river crossing, and um, I've just made it through. But... Good tip, you'll see he hasn't got his waistband on. So if you do go for a swim down the river, you can dump that pack. Forget about what's in it, and just get to the other side. Big, big stick helps you. And try and angle down with the water a little bit. There you go, he's through the worst of it. Oh, you made it look easy. <laughs> I have to beat that out. <laughs> Bit cold, eh? <laughs> I'm off the ice. <laughs> so we're only about halfway in. We've already seen three deer. We're tracking a stag. On the same way we were. Yeah, Youngie was in front, bumped him out of his bed, only 20 yards in front of him, but yeah, couldn't get a cracker into him. And um, yeah, we just walked around the corner and that hind was there, so I dare say he was chasing her because when we got on his marks, whew, big strong stag smell. So I reckon they're starting to fire up these stags. So. Once we get into these, this area we're trying to get to, hopefully, we can uh, get onto something. You would see in the last video that I was using life straw to get a bit extra water. And I had used it before and I'd obviously forgotten how much hard work it was. You know, I do still carry one because you just never know, you might have to drink out of a dirty puddle somewhere and it might be just enough to get you out of trouble. But since then I've ordered this sugar. Now the water's pretty good anyway, but it has got a little bit of silt in it. So, all I'm going to do is get this ready, put this in there. Plug this in there. And that. I need to get it up higher, but that is going to drain in there. If I lay it down, it's going to go in there. You can see that running. 
different going in. Much easier. Well, plenty of hinds tonight. Got some good video, I hope, of that hind coming right into that call. But, yeah, got no no stags. I can't find a stag. Save myself over here. And put up two walking in here, and then, yeah, it's gone real quiet on stag sign now that we're in here. So, walking back in the headlamps, not much fun. It's pretty hard going along here. I can see Youngie back in camp, so he'll be getting a fire going for us, I think. It's real mild, I'm sweating. I've been sort of showers all day, but now it's just mild ass. Anyway. Well, we had a pretty good hunt yesterday afternoon, but a bit of a lack of stag sign at this end. So it seems as though we've walked past them. So what we're gonna do is, <clears throat> we've broken down camp, and we're gonna hunt our way back to where there was a bit better stag sign. I've just set up camp, so we've moved around another system. We're um, just running under the one fly 
tonight because we actually left a big tarp in the other spot. But what I want to talk to you about is if anyone recognises that deer head, I want to hear from you. It's obviously got a story to tell. Get, get in contact with me. Actually looks pretty good on video. It's from behind though, I think. Shit, he's pretty wide. Yeah, I thought that for a second when I got a bit of a quick look at him. He might have to get a bit more attention. Oh. Yeah, he's a shooter, eh? You see him? No. No, here, on Not here. Yet. Look at his tops. He's pretty wide. Yeah. He's got he good tops. He's still flicking around. He's got good tops on him. Yeah, that's about all I saw. I wonder if I could shoot from that ridge. He's there, he's probably going to roll around that way. I need to go up there, shoot across. From that other little have to down. come shoot yeah. across from maybe up to that rocky bluff and shoot down on him. Yeah. Fair mission. So I've spotted that stag. He was way across the creek, up really high. And he got two hours of light left. So I'm having a crack. My ears going straight to him from where I need to shoot from. I'm gonna have to try and use the ridge in the gully to keep my scent away from him. I wanna try and get above him and shoot down. Shouldn't be that far a shot if he's still there. Oh, it's steep.
How awesome is that? Still rattling. I tried to take a video before and I was rattling too hard. The camera couldn't focus. So yeah, let him go broadside and smoked him. 270 yards, so nice comfortable shot. Believe it or not, it only took me about 15, 20 minutes to get up on him and sneaking around the corner looking for him. So he hadn't gone anywhere. He was just happily feeding up there. Had the wind wrong a little bit for a bit and then it changed and it was in my favour so I snuck around the corner and bang, straight on him. He's just poof, straight there. Just, no binoculars, nothing, just, just saw him like shit up. And he had to stalk in about another 30 yards. Set up the camera, walk back. I don't know, the bullet would have been going over the camera so I don't know if it shook on the shot or not. But anyway, it drilled him. Got to go over there now, it's pretty steep and gnarly here. Have a look at what he's living in here. I don't know if it does it any justice, but that is straight up and down. That's why you need good boots. Cut around the sides of those hills. That's why my boots lose the edges. You really gotta do that and make foot hole to get around through there. Another hundred yards up there. Perfect shot. Oh. Nice sort of a stag. Fresh out of velvet. Been doing some serious rubbing. Bit overspread, beautiful little head. Good condition, the deer. Anyway, I've only got about 45 minutes of light left and I cannot muck around, so beautiful. I'm trying to get off this hill in the daylight. About two and a half k's to get back to camp. If I can get down to the creek, at least I can go along the flats. Even if I've got to cross the river and get wet boots, I'll be able to dry them out tonight near the fire. So, I've got the rack on. And, um, yeah, it's pretty nasty on this side. I've got no idea what they're up here for. Maybe they're just up here because no one else is. But, yeah, so, I'm going to take it pretty easy so I don't hurt myself. Is that a welcome sight? I don't know, I didn't even have to get wet boots, thanks to that slippery log. Alright, we're gonna give this a go. We did a bow shot trout here years ago, so we're gonna give a eye fillet, venison eye fillet, a bit of a go on the fire. You know when your eye fillet's cooked? When the stick burns in half. <laughs> Beautiful. Free range protein. Yeah. Don't get any better than that. Fresh as fresh. Fresh as. It's got a little smoky flavour to it. A little bit of charcoal because it fell in a couple of times, but that's alright. Really good. All packed up and loaded up. Ready to walk out. See how my knees go, they're a bit stiff this morning.